wolf. The wolf is there. It's howling in the dark. <laughs> okay. Eighteen millimeters. <laughs> That's first time. Yeah, you already have it uh, in the eye. Yeah. It's clear. The voice you are hearing is the man that invented this. Let's bring him on. This is Andre. Hello, Andre. Hello, Jonathan. Hello. How are you? Oh, really nice. Fine. Thank you. Um, Andre, you? Andre Tunis from Belgium, from Brussels, yes? Yes, Brussels. Lovely. And um, what did I just put on my cello? Oh, this is, this is my device I uh, invented. This is, uh, I call it the Wolf Tuner. Mm -hmm. Device to avoid the, the Wolf Tune, yeah. Wolf Tuner, not a Wolf Modulator or Wolf Suppressor. No but Wolf no, Tuner. No. And today, yes. everyone, we're going to learn about this guy, this invention, and what it's all about and what makes the Andre Tunis Wolf Tuner different from all the other uh, solutions you have for your cello. So let's get right to the first question, if you don't mind, Andre. Um, we'd like to know, who is, who is Andre? Who is Andre Tunis? What is your story? What is your history? Well, uh, so I'm a violin maker, yeah, but um, I think I was born as a violin maker. You know, my grandfather was a uh, lumberjack. It is cutting trees in the wood, so uh, it's already a good base. And um, my father was a distillator, so he made all liquor, liquors, yeah. So if you, if you mixed a trees and liquors, yeah. yeah, you have a violin. <laughs> so, so I guess when you mix wood and alcohol, the, the, yeah. the natural evolution is to make beautiful instruments. Okay, so I, uh, I played uh, the violin uh, uh, at, at 12, at 12, I think so. So and um, and also I did made uh, furniture, okay, when I was uh, eighteen old or so, and and then uh, I also mixed both. I, I mixed the the furniture and the playing of the instrument. So I I, uh, I became violin maker. So I I, I enter um, a violin making school in uh, in Germany. So in Bavarian, this is Mittenwald. So in 1971, 72. So it's precisely 50 years uh, ago. No. 50 years you have been making violins. Years. That's fantastic. Yeah. Just this year, 22, 21. So this is 50 years because I that began in 1971. Well, wow. well, congratulations on 50 years in with your life dedicated to this world. Okay, and I still like it, like at the first day. <laughs> now, well, the reason we're together though, Andre, is the fact that this is a device right here you call your wolf tuner. So yeah. I would like to know, and maybe others too would like to know, is what about the wolf tones interests you how did you become with this idea of creating this device? And I'll show it on camera so close up so everyone can see what it is. So you make violins, I'm sure they're beautiful. But let's talk about this Wolf Tuner. Yes. So uh, did you show it? Okay. I will, uh, yes, of course. I will show it right now. And for those of you who aren't familiar with it, you can just talk us through what this is there it is right there there it is yes okay it's, it's a very small it see it's, it's curved yeah it's a quarter yeah, this, this is and it's in silver yeah okay in silver yes Just silver beautiful. plain silver mm -hmm. okay so what about this is 
What makes, about it? It's interesting. What is about the wolf tone that interests you, and why did you okay. come up with this device? Maybe we talk first about the wolf tone. The wolf tone. Mm. Okay. Uh, what's the wolf tone? The wolf tone is uh, a frequency conflict between the body resonance of the instruments on the played note. So every instrument have a, a, a own body frequencies resonance. Okay. Okay. And for the okay, I will show you. And um, for the cello. Uh, this is uh, a bit really uh, F sharp. It can be an E. It's between the E and F sharp. Okay. Okay. Uh, for the violin, it's a C sharp. Okay. For the for the cello, it's F sharp. I will show you how to how I I um, uh, I can notice it. Here. You take a cello. Take your cello. Oh, you, we can take my cello. We do this together. Show you first. So, and you blow in your instruments, okay? And uh, you sing, you sing a scale, and suddenly uh, you will uh, you will reach a note which it's sounding clearer, okay? This is the body resonance, and uh, this note is arbitrary, the F sharp on the shadow. I'll show you, okay? F sharp. The, this note is uh, much clearer when you sing in, in the instruments. It's because this this you reach the body resonance. The body oh, resonance. The bo and when this you talk, the... so I will try this. I have to go that low. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a singing class today. Let me try this. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Below. Below. It's a C. It's C. It's C. I can't uh, really? go to C. I can go to E. I can't go to C. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was going to have a, a little singing lesson today. Me, 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 me. Me, fa, 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 fa. There's my F sharp. It's, okay, like, you hear it's, it's a fist. It's a F, F sharp. Mm. So you turn as a valve on the F sharp. Yes. Also. It's like all the other notes just sort of disappear in the cello. But when I sing the F sharp, it goes, ooh, the cello is like, yes, F sharp. That's it. <laughs> and so okay. if, when, you, when you play on, on the strings, the strings is uh, vibrating on F sharp. On the body resonance is also F sharp, so you have a conflict. You see, on this conflict, make the the the, the tone is is the damped damped. It's a it's a wolf. Okay. It's like it's a wolf. So um, this is something. Um, every instruments have a sort of. Uh, uh, wolf tone. This is uh, simply physical. A any instruments have it. This is not uh, something wrong on your instrument. This is just, this is just uh, <laughs> physical. Okay. So I was always I was in trying, 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 curious about the mm -hmm. wolf. Mm -hmm. So on, uh, I think uh, already from the beginning, beginning I uh, I try to find a way. And uh, yeah, also I did use the the the, the normal uh, wolf killers, and uh, but the problem is that the wolf killers mute the the instruments, and it's 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 take the the wolf uh, frequencies away, but uh, in the same times uh, it takes a lot of harmonics away. This is not good. So I I I think maybe we could try to generate it. new harmonics and new harmonics uh, and I did it with this uh, with this system and the new harmonics are uh, enriches the general timber and uh, the the wolf note is not muted 
but uh, uh, this is balanced. Balanced. You so see? the um, new, the, so these these new harmonics will enrich the sound, the timbre of the cello of the note, and but okay. also you're saying they will be balanced too. Yes. Okay. So, aren't you 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 manage to play with the Wolf note like this? Mm. And the, but the Wolf is not dead. It's not dead. It's still there. If you if you if you play uh, a bit uh, wrong, you can find the Wolf. You're yeah. you're right about that. And I want everyone watching this to know that okay. there are many different types of Wolf tuners. And I'm not going to talk about the other one. The other ones you've seen on the channel. But one thing I have, I have used is right here it's the uh, the krenz and you see it's a big one and there you see the the massive difference in size this uses weights and a and lots of weight and magnets to to suppress more yes, suppress. and diffuse that wolf tone which is wonderful um uh, and uh, but this i've noticed that it doesn't kill the wolf it's no. still like it's in the background you know it's there but uh, it seems that what you have done, you have redirected the energy of the wolf tone to still stay within the cello, but not be disruptive. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Just. Um, now, um, uh, so I was very uh, busy with this uh, research, but one day I, I wake up, I wake up with the idea. So I came in my workshop and I, I made the first one and it's very it was the it was the beginning of it. It's uh, now ten years already. Mm. Uh, so I, I made the first 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 ball tuner. So now um, maybe I can explain about the the dimensions and the yes, which was gonna I was gonna ask about that. Um, the next question would have been you know why the shape and the orientation because I notice on your instructions if you buy one and I'll link in the description below his website where you can buy it you say the cello alpha wolf tuner place the tuner on the C string 18 millimeters below the bridge set yes. the opening sideways toward the base side enjoy taming wolves so yes. let's talk about the shape and the orientation first for the shape yes so um, the first one I made, uh, it already it did works directly, but uh, it it didn't it didn't sounds very nicely. So I try to to make, to optimize the the sounding of the the, the, the piece, yeah, and uh, I found the answer by doing every measure in a in a golden ratio you know in the golden ratio and to do the the width and and uh, <laughs> the, the the every dimension uh, in a dimension proportion okay and it sounds uh, uh, the best like this and so now the the curve okay so the curve is is done uh, simply, um, as you can clip it on the strings, but it cannot be too uh, too strange. So it has to be very, very, very nicely calculated to have the right curve. The, okay, and uh, yeah, if you like to know the, the oops, okay. Don't lose it. All right. <laughs> it's uh, what's a great thing. It's small. <laughs> it's small. Um, so the curve is the it's a, it's a radius of thirty three millimeters. So if you like to make one yourselves, you you do a curve of. Oh, don't 33 give your secrets away. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the best the best way to to uh, to uh, to making secret is to tell the truth. I guess so. I guess some people need to guard their secrets. So let's. So the I didn't yeah. add. So the curve is precise. The, yeah. the length. I want to know about the length. Why the this length? length? Okay. Okay. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> if not, I have to buy another one. So. Okay. <laughs> 
so the uh, the opening is asked to be set sideways. And you mean sideways as on the cello, it's toward the right knee, toward okay. the bass side right here, this side, correct? I tell you why. Okay, why? Because you see uh, the gravity center of the, the device mm -hmm. huh? is, is out of the gravity center of the string, slightly out, mm -hmm. because the shape of the tuner. Right. And, and this is important, very important. When you put the, the opening sideways, the tuner polarizes the, the transversal vibrations. Mm -hmm. When you play with your bow, what makes the bow? The bow is polarizing the transversal vibrations. This is just the same. Hmm. So it, it makes the job of the bow. So it means that when you take the, when you play, even if your bow is not on the string, the string is polarized. Okay. So it helps to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to en enhance the, the vibrations. This is very important. Okay. okay. So you're telling me yeah. that my bow helps polarize. Yes, the string. The string in it like so, this. and um, when I play, and when I you say polarize, what does that mean to me as a player? It it, it is the the direction of the, the the vibrations. Okay. Okay. Like this. Is it the vibrations? Yes. Okay. On the valve tuner, help, help. To, to, to this uh, polarize. Oh, so that's why it needs to be, I guess, like this direction with the movement of the bow. Yes. It needs to agree with the movement now. Nah. Yes, that's it. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. This, this is physical. Okay, this is one one thing who, what does the, the, the system working. It's another thing this is the, the, the uh, crea creation of the new harmonics. If you put it on a, on the a string, you divided the string. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, like this. Okay, it's on. You divided the strings. On here, you have a new frequencies. Mm -hmm. oh, this is this is the eighteen millimeters. Yes. And why 18 millimeters? It's because this is a fifth of the of the of this this length. Okay. So I mean a fifth uh, harmonics, yeah. Right. You can't uh, when you sing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so okay, it's a fifth. Yeah, okay. When you have 18 millimeters, you have a fifth from this length. This okay. After. And um, one thing it's important to know. Is because the after lengths, it's calling the after lengths between the, the the bridge and the tailpiece. Okay, this is the after lengths. That's what the violin maker call it the after lengths. All after right? lengths. Okay. After lengths. Okay. And this after lengths is a fifth from the the playing the playing strings, the vibrating strings, mm -hmm. the entire vibrating string from from the saddle. To the bridge, okay. This is the vibrating strings, okay. And this after length is a fifth of of the vibrating strings. So this um, right I, here, if um, I multiply my, this by five, I, I could be one, two, no, three, no, no, four, five. No. no, if you measure, if you measure, this is this is, you you have to divide it by six. Okay, okay. Because, uh, okay, if you measure a fifth, it's six, is divided by six. Okay, well, I believe you. Math is not my strong suit. <laughs> okay, uh, all right. So, if you, ta if you take, for example, I, uh, talking, let's talking uh, numbers. If you have here 115 millimeters, this is 690 divided by six. Okay, and if you have 18 millimeters here, 
this is, this is 115 divided by 6 again you see this this 18 millimeters are generated a fifth okay uh, uh, for example uh, a fifth from the C side it, it's a G Ta -ta. Mm -hmm. it's a G okay it's a fifth and um, and the, this 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 is a G here and uh, if you if you take the these 18 millimeters this is the this is the, ne the next fifth this is a D mm -hmm. okay and uh, this is not the Wolf note this is not necessarily the Wolf note but it does enhances the whole harmonic systems it is okay. enriched and uh, okay so you you can you can try to 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 play with the bow just on it on it and and uh, so you you hear uh, you hear the note yeah and I ask about the orientation and so if I don't turn it the direction you hear it it's a, it's a it's a B mm -hmm. okay it's a B it's 18 millimeter. And this is very good. Uh, the orienta orientation. The orientation. If I change the orientation, so you have it toward the base. What happens if I don't turn the orientation the correct way? Okay, the effect is much lesser. Please do it. Well, uh, turn it toward the cello. How about toward the cello? Like flat. please do it like this. Yes. I'll try that. <laughs> And now turn, turn, turn the, the device sideways. Okay. So you may not be able to hear it over the internet and your phone and devices, but for those of you who know what a wolf tone feels like on your cello, I want to make this super important people watching. A wolf tone is something you not only hear, but you feel when you play. And so yes. when I'm turning it inwards like this, as Andre has told me, I feel that the cello is fighting back yes. the note. But then I turn it out in the direction I've been told to do. And it doesn't fight as much. And it's those little subtleties about playing cello that really make the difference. Okay, that's it. That's it. And this thanks to this uh, this uh, the this uh, gravity center, which is out of the gravity center of, of the string. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's, you're, it's, you're... Like, it's like if you play with a second bow. Yeah, that's right. Because the the outside, the part that sticks outward is thicker. And when you yeah. see it up close, it's very thick on the outside, which, you know, when I'm looking at this, it is not only effective, Andre, but it is beautiful, which brings me to my next question. Your wolf tuner is made from silver. Why is the cello alpha wolf tuner made of silver? Okay. So I, uh, I made, I use different metal. I use it, uh, nickel silver, I use bronze, I use gold, and uh, what else, yeah, uh, and silver, and I found that the, the silver has the best, uh, best uh, harmonics production, and the best uh, bass for the, for the cello, okay, it sounds really nicely. And also one thing is that uh, the, the silver plate is, is laminated and hammered and when, so by hand. And, and when you do it like this, the, the, um, the device is sounding like a bell. It's like a bell or like a... Um... <laughs> diapason. A, um, a, a diapason. Okay, which is see. a tuning fork. For those of you who don't speak a French. Tuning fork. For those of you who don't speak French, what a diapason is a tuning fork, which 
Well, I just can't find it at the current moment because I didn't prepare for that part What's of the that? interview. <laughs> you have one on your side. Uh, Dia yes. Puzzle. Yes, right here. Okay. You see, you see the shape. Mm -hmm. This is the same shape. Without the curve, yes. This is this is the 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 Wolf tuner shape also. It is, yes, it is. Just thicker. Those are thicker on, on the side. on the on the on the sides are thicker. It, it sounds and with with the silver material, it sounds on best, the best. Okay. And is it the same for the violin and viola, or do you use a different material for the violin and yes. viola? Yeah, uh, for violin, I also use silver. But I also use uh, titanium, mm -hmm. which has much higher harmonics. And higher. Um, I noticed on, on your website you have for the cello, there's a silver one, but there's also a nickel version too? Silver, this is a comp comp composition, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's okay, it works, but uh, uh, it's more... Uh, uh, <laughs> we have restricted um, range of harmonics. So it's okay for a, a very simple F sharp wolf. But very often you, you have a, a wolf which is the walking between the E and F sharp. Mm. Yeah. Which asks, I should ask this question then. What if your wolf is not on the F sharp? What if it's on the E or the G? The sol, yeah. or the or the fa bicach, the the F natural, or the mi bicach, the a, the E natural. What happens then? Will your wolf tuner function correctly on those? Yes, sure, sure it works. If you use the alpha tuner, it works because it's generated a very large range of harmonics, which it's cover from the E to the to the F sharp. Then uh, it works. Okay. It will. It will uh, Created, generated, the a lot of harmonics which will balance the the, the problem, balance the this conflict between the strings, the strings and the body resonance. I really the like body. the fact that it's so small, and like I said, I was comparing it to the Krenz modulator here. That is, you know much larger and you know it's just just so much larger they are comparably priced but i find it to be beautiful and for those of you out there that have sort of a storage system like i do and that you use your cleanse if you do have a cleanse which is again it's a good device but i use a you know a storage system like this and this right here is so much more arranged for my instrument because the cleanse, you have to slide it up and down. And over time, I believe it will wear down the varnish of my instrument. But the, as you see right here, the Andre Tunis Wolf Tuner does not do anything. Your cello remains beautiful. And let's just be honest, Andre, the fact that it is beautiful. Why is it so beautiful is the question. Yeah. <laughs> It's made I, okay. of silver, but it's actually quite beautiful looking as well. Why so, why this, is, why is it so pretty? This is made by hand, and uh, I, I already told it. This is uh, laminated and hammered. This is a piece of jewelry. This is like to make it, uh, to making rings on a uh, piece of jewelry. Okay. So it's made by hand. Yes. And who made who who actually makes it okay. by hand? Okay, my, my daughter is jewelry, is making jewelry, okay. daughter. Okay. And so this is a very nice co combination, yeah. Right. Well, very nice. I absolutely love it. I thank you for, you know, introducing me to your invention. And of course, everyone who's watching the channel will be able to have another alternative to, to, to a dealing with our wolf tone on our instrument. I really think it's fa fabulous that you have this. Um, I thank you. Do you have any closing comments? Would you like to talk about anything um, else about this that we should know that you would want us to know? Yeah. Uh, every time I show it to a musician, I am so pleased to see the smile when he, when he try his instruments with the device because it's much easier to play and he forget about all those uh, 
troubles, ball tones, and balances. So you can really see this the on the on the face of the musicians. He smiles. So I, I'm, I'm very pleased. Okay. Hello. Well, I'm glad that I am very pleased too. It will remain on my cello, even though I like the krenz for simple fact that for my lifestyle and for my arrangement, it just works better for me, and I I like it. And thank you so much for sharing your time with me today and the channel and talking to us about your wonderful, wonderful Accorde de Lou, otherwise known as the Wolf Tuner. Thank you. I'll link everything in the description below. You can um, contact Andre and you ship worldwide, I believe. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, I, so thank you again, sir. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.